Hello, chat. And welcome to Alan Wake 2. Peggle 2 voice Alan Wake 2. 2. What's going on? Dude, I'm so fucking excited to play this game, chat. You have no idea. You don't even know. You don't even know. Okay, maybe you do. You're probably excited too. <laughs> You're probably also very excited. Uh. Hey, man. Hope everyone enjoyed the new video that I launched today uh, about Dead Space. Uh, which I'm very proud of, very happy I was able to get it out in time for the holiday. My favorite holiday. The only good one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to shoot on Christmas. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I'm really glad people are enjoying it. Um... I was fucking busting ass this month to, like, make sure it was done by the end of the month in a timely fashion, uh, and I did it, so that's cool. <laughs> I feel, uh, oh shit, what's going on with the stream? Hold on. The bitrate is being a little funky. Please don't do that. Please fix yourself. Okay, it looks like it's better now. Please fix yourself and stay that way for the rest of the stream. What? <laughs> well, Wallanaki. I'm Wallanaki. And I'm a writer. Slunky McGee, thank you for the 42 months. Uh, Witch Sand, thank you for the 25 months. And Four Turtles and a Rat Dad, thank you for the 25 months. Oh my god, early stream, I can make it even though I've been up since 4 a.m. Go to bed! Go take a nap and wake up so we can watch fucking Evil Dead Rise later. Um, which is, oh man, dude, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. I get to, I get to release a video about one of my favorite games. Um, I get to play a game that I've been super excited for, like, all fucking year. And we're gonna watch Evil Dead Rise. Uh, a new entry in maybe my favorite horror movie franchise um and it's really good it's really fucking good i popped off in the theater when i watched that shit uh i don't know what's going on with the bit rate right now nice. i'm gonna wait for it to even Time out for to get woke gay avery thank you so much for the 690 oh my god it's really bad right now what the fuck is happening I, like, demand that this stop right now, because I want to have a really good time, and I don't like when that happens. I really don't like when this happens. It's in the red right now. It's being fixed. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's alright. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna start the game before fucking Zeus himself hits me with a lightning bolt from the sky. Um, so I- it says continue because I just- I started a new game last night very briefly just to make sure that the game would be like okay on the stream. Because we all heard a lot of concerning things when they released the, like, recommended graphics, uh, shit for this game, uh, before it came out. And I was a little nervous. I was like, eh, my computer's kind of pushing it at this point. Like, I should get a new GPU at some point. Uh, so I opened up the game really quick and didn't look at anything and, like, skipped the opening cutscene to, like, not spoil myself on whatever is happening. Chat, when I tell you that the first thing I saw, as soon as you, like, gain control, uh, like, in the beginning of the game, I... My... Brain flew out the back of my fucking skull. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Uh. Bro, please. With the bit rate. Thanks for another awesome video, Koo. 
I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset if the stream doesn't want to work while I want to re while I really want to play this game. I'm gonna be upset. It's, it seems it seems okay right now. Just Lyra, thank you so much for twenty dollars. Uh, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the hell led me to whatever that was. Uh. I'm streaming in 30, just to, like, make it a bit smoother if things start to get weird with the graphics. Uh, but we'll figure that out as time goes on. So, uh, let's fucking begin. I've been hearing that Alan Wake is being weird with OBS. It's not OBS. It's not like the encoding. It's the bit, right? Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Dude, I'm ready to be fucking engrossed. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Holy shit. I just realized what I was and looking at. <laughs> Whoa. I'm turning off my lights. I forgot. Essential critical step. Okay, turns out there was no explanation. Cause, cause when I, cause when I opened up the game and skipped the intro, this is the first thing I saw, <laughs> and I was like. Wait a minute! This isn't Alan Wake! <laughs> okay, so it turns out there was absolutely zero context that I could have missed. I was like, who the fuck is this guy that I'm playing as? Fucking atmosphere, bro. <laughs> this game is beautiful. By the way, don't know if it was clear. I have like settings on like mostly low and medium. Look at what this fucking game looks like, dude. Dude, I wonder if that was, uh, Mr. Scratch. Oh, shit. God, we're so fucking wet and naked and dirty and fucking filthy. <laughs> it's so funny how long this lasts. Ah! For 
first impression more like Alan Cake. Oh, I also didn't mention I uh, I switched up my microphone settings a little bit on my new mixer since the last stream, so it should sound even freaking better now. Hey, fellas. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh, oh my God. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> oh, damn. Can you turn those off? That's annoying. That was fucking cool! You just start the game as just like some random guy that gets fucking ritualistically murdered? That rules! Alan! Wake! Dude, let's go! <laughs> awesome! Dude's rock. Fuck, dude. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, Night Springs mentioned? So good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Dude, <laughs> Alex Casey. I will. Bye, kiddo. Show me Sam Lake. Show me Sam. Yeah, there he is, bro. <laughs> Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It's so funny hearing someone else's voice come out of his fucking face. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Are. Cauldron Lake. I cannot believe how fucking beautiful this game is. It's like insanely pretty. Oh, a little bit of popping. <laughs> but still, oh my god. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Dude, I'm fully, like, arched forward in my chair, doing the fucking gamer pose. Uh, Not because I'm, like, doing anything super engaging, I'm just engrossed as hell. By the trees. Oh, that's awful, dude. There's gotta be a way to turn those off, right? I think I hear someone.
There's... <laughs> Let me check epic settings really quick. There's... That's... Uh... Woof. <laughs> that is gonna get annoying really fast. It's just like, it's way louder than anything else in the game. If it wasn't so loud, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, settings... References... Notifications... Oh, man. I don't see a setting for it. <laughs> Del, let's, let me do a quick Google search. Disable Epic Games trophies? Is that what they're called? Trophies? Uh, can I turn off the achievements pop-up? So I I see an answer that someone is saying to turn off the uh, to open up task manager. So I'm a little concerned. Go to task manager and kill the EOS overlay. I'll do it if that's what it takes. Uh, Epic Games. Let's see where is this shit? Can you just, like, like, close Epic? I don't see anything for just the overlay. Seems like either kill it in Task Manager or just play in offline mode. Uh, let me just try just, like, closing Epic Games. And seeing what happens. Alright, let's try that. Sorry. Just grinding everything to a halt, but I, uh, I can go take a look. don't want to hear that the entire time. Wait, your belly aching, Thorn. I'm up here now. <laughs> hey, over here. Hey. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton. Dude, Thornton. Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Dude, the dialogue options? All right. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some, uh... This guy sounds like that Dutch. ...currently outside the victim's person when they should be... <laughs> His voice reminds know, me of Dutch Vanderlyn. Were there any witnesses? Mangoes. Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. <laughs> Thornton, dude. We need to rob a train Before agent, Anderson. Scene, there's time to review the, facts of the case. <laughs> Biowolf, so thank you for the five months. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Access the case board inside the Mind Palace. Whoa, dude, the Mind Palace. My place. version of the Mind Palace technique. 
palace. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Holy shit. Facts are on the board. Wow, this is crazy. It just takes you to a completely different fucking location. The mind palace. Is that... It's Casey. <laughs> Either just a photo of Sam Lake or Alex Casey, who's to say? Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Oh. Huh. Okay. Can literally just. All right. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Slight difference in murders, bloating only con commonality in bodies, not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water. Ugh, these like gross fucking body pictures. All right, killer profile. Picture number three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe, or their art. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Killer may be a sportsman or hunter. Repre resembles animal butchery techniques. Dude, who are these people? Like, I mean, like, who are the real people who these photos are from? <laughs> Just, like, Remedy employees, I guess. Some someone's dad. Victim was reported missing in 2010. Ted Lane, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018. Some organs missing. Predation, state of the body, does not match eight years spent in a lake. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of, tat of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I see you're already that's, already dude, worked. that's great. Oh my god, dude, that's nuts! We're With like one started. button press, you just go Let's straight there. The crime scene. That's nuts, dude! Video game! Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna happen. Don't say that. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I can take my flashlight out. Mirror Peak. Mighty Mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Bro, I think this game has themes. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. <laughs> Alright, man. What the hell's up here? I want to fucking see this. Fuck you, I'm Casey. Go check something out. Be right back. Got it. character just turns around <laughs> you just get stopped hey right, what about over here
I'm looking for a fucking coffee thermos or something. Gotta be something out here. Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle. Quite like the one of the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. There's like a little, little painted rock on the ground. Is that a kid's oh, lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Oh my god, dude. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Coincidentally. My dad used to say when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure where the tough gets going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Manuscript fragments. Interesting. Used to upgrade weapons in the Mind Palace. Holy shit. Interesting, okay. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Increases magazine size. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Oh, that sounds fucking nice. Mind Palace. Got the map in here. It said earlier, too, that uh, activating the Mind Palace does not pause the game. <laughs> so, like, can I still get just, like, attacked while I go to the Mind Palace, I wonder? Pretty interesting. Just like in real life, yeah. Retreating to my Mind Palace doesn't save me. Alright, let's fucking follow Welcome Casey. Back, Anderson. <laughs> Dude, he's pissed. <laughs> he's not happy with me. Not a bad place to get murdered. <laughs> if getting back to nature is your thing. What a thing Damn. to say. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. And they don't stop coming. It's a fucking phone booth. took the other path, even though it goes to the same place. Yeah, what a thing I'll to say. A <laughs> Roger. Nice place to get Deputy murdered. Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. What up, Thornton? Behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. I have, like, the weakest, shittiest oh, flashlight ever. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> uh, let's just see this body, shall we? <laughs> Some guy screaming in the forest? Scene of the crime. We found Ugh. it on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. <laughs> Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Am I supposed to use my mind palace? Cases. Oh. I'm what? Am I like posting this somewhere on the fucking wall? No? Baseboard. What do I do with this? Sir, 
Step one. Weird. Examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. Place it on the case board inside the mind palace. Be selected with X and placed on the case board. Alright, how do I fucking place it? Ah, there we go. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. Uh, you know it is. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Okay. You are now free to examine the case board or leave to complete the objective. Let's take a look at that heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Fucking grody. Fucking grody. Major chest trauma. Does it, like, matter where you put these? Guess not. Keep trying. <laughs> well, I guess it does, actually. That's it. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time, the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm. Hold on, I got an idea. Dead Space Vid is so good. Thank you so much, Koo, for the quality you put out. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Um... Oh, there's a... Uh, the fucking... Epic Game Store like overlay is in the volume mixer, so I just muted it. So that's that's perfect. There we go. I also turned the game up just a little bit. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance your investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Check your updated goals, blah blah blah. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. You are now free to examine the case board or leave, collect new clues. I need new clues, bro. Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Heavy Large blood splatter. Blood the I'm a little confused here. about how this works. They're laying a, a lot of this onto me at once, but I imagine that'll get easier as time goes on. Dude, the mind palace. Let me fucking place this shit over here. The victim. No? Where the fuck does this go? Oh, there we go. The killers. Want to stay relatively unspoiled for this game, so I'm going to head out. Hey, yeah. By all means. Don't worry about it. Have a good one. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. Let's they go, bro! <laughs> Waiting. Drink beer! Rice hail! Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? We'll set of footprints for the killers. Bootprints indicating multiple killers. 
Messy Quite scene, funny. crime of passion, premeditated. For later. For later. Okay, interesting. Gotta be more shit around here. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. What the fuck? Oh, I was like... I was like, what's that sound? That's the sound of you, like, trying to move the stick around. <laughs> because there's nothing to use. You're, like, accessing your items like fucking Resident Evil. But you can trust me. Well, I've been doing some deep research online. And I know how to keep confidential matters uh, confidential. Look, I get that the UFO thing was a joke, but you're probably trying Bro, he's still on that UFO shit. Anderson. What am I hey, schmissing? Let's get back to work over here, can we? I'm working on it, bro. I'm looking around. What do you want from me? What's your fucking problem? I don't see anything else I'm supposed to investigate, homie. Anderson. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Just constantly, like, fucking off while I'm supposed to be doing, like, murder investigations. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go take a walk. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Is that a yes? Nice talking to you, too. <laughs> oh, what's all this then? Wonder what's inside. Confused? Go for a way to open this thing. Follow these steps. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Huh? Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. I wonder if that's supposed to be, like, describing the symbols or something. Huh. A creepy twig sculpture? The fuck does that mean, dude? Oh, it's fucking dark in here, bro. It's fucking dark. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. We're supposed to... All right. Yeah, this is like a Resident Evil puzzle. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. <laughs> There's a guitar. Dude, functioning guitar. Take a nap. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. It's in its what? 
<laughs> but that, but what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional. I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. People with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing it. I know it. First drawing, waterline. Real caldera is made from a volcano. <laughs> Lava! Second drawing, waterline, engineered structure. Strange machines? Alright, what did that fucking shit say? Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Okay, so, wash hands, chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. So, wash hands is that one. That one. Okay, diagonal. Fucking, okay. Hopefully I can remember those. <laughs> Diagonal. This one. Fuck, did I get them wrong? Son of a bitch, dude. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Pointing at each other. Take a nap. Oh, there we go. I had the wrong diagonal one. That's what it was. Oh, thank God that worked, dude. The achievements are muted. <laughs> Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Huh? Fucking ammunition. The hell does that mean, dog? I have like an inventory? I don't know if I can check it right now. Alright, case board. Uh cases. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Surely. Another message. Surely. There's gotta be something to it. Doesn't look right. Okay, so I don't have fucking anything new. That was just like completely nothing. <laughs> just got some items from it. That was it. Show this then. UFOs. UFOs and you, the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. I'm writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. and I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I used to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it. All align and make it happen. Terrified it, terrified it would, it didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. Who fucking wrote this, dude? This, come on. Work on your flow. I scanned the sky for shapes and uh, the objects. Nothing. But then I blink repeatedly. I think I saw the after image of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, not... Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. 
another Alex Casey lunchbox. How do you like the knitting, hero? I made I had it made just for you. Justice for Palestine. There's even Hope more you of enjoy these. Alan Wake too. Coo. Samurai Sharky, thank you for the 23 months. There's even more of these fucking painted rocks everywhere. Huh. I wonder what the significance of that will hey, be. Hey Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Oh my god. Please, Anderson, just one case without the A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> like, please, dude, please don't say it. <laughs> please don't tell me some fucking stupid joke. Is this a dead end? What the hell is this for? There ain't nothing here. I can't fucking find anything. I'm like lost. <laughs> I'm like fucking lost. I need to get back to the crime scene, dude. Oh, it's literally right over there. Did you get lost, Anderson? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Was I just supposed to talk to, to this guy? Thirteen years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. Oh yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All. Shit. The victim. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why surface now? Where has he been? The victim is Robert Nightingale. Last seen in Brayfall 13 years ago. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this a lot town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Yeah, wow. Dude, fucking Nightingale. He was from Control, right? Or was he in Alan Wake 1? I don't, I don't really remember him, to be totally honest. Casey Nightingale... Night, Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. He was in Alan Wake 1. iPod found near body... Cooler and beer bottles left nearby. She's doing the, like, fucking tongue-clicking thing while I decide what to do with these. <laughs> Looks new. Bought by the killers. Why? To mount a camera? Weird snuff film? They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. He was the crazy oh, FBI agent that. shooting at you in the first game. Oh, right, 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 right. No, I remember him now. I just, I'm not so good with names. Why now? Victim came from? Profiling. 
get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. This is like fucking Hannibal. It together. This is like that shit that Will does when he fucking just dissociates for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Ritual murder or missing person. <laughs> this is my design. <laughs> I need to watch Hannibal again, dude. That show's good. Uh, ritual murder. There's ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. <coughs> this wasn't some <coughs> random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake. Before his murder. Oh, these are just questions. I thought I was like choosing between one of them that I had to like decide which one it was. Profile someone, find evidence. <laughs> Clues can be discovered by speaking to people, as well as examining your surroundings. Icons on the bottom left corner. Critical content is available in the Mind Palace. Am I missing something? Oh, I am. It's this. Duh. Al, and wake to. Dude, where's Barry, bro? Al! Al, it's your friend Barry! Fucking Evan, dude, thank you for the two months. Barry better be in this fucking game, dude. It's dark. It's your agent, Barry Wheeler. Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> this fucking guy. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. I'll go up there later. doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. How's the frame rate looking on the stream, by the way? No trees got Is it smooth? A smooth 30? Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. It's perfect. Cool. It's a fucking big ass tree. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Oh, <gasps> is that a piece of the writing? Magical Alan Wake writing? Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Pick this shit up. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. 
line scratched out and edits added with a pen. Bro, let's go. The manuscript. Like a manuscript. Exactly. Page of a story. That's what I'm saying. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. Dude, there he is. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Bro, I'm about to profile the hell out of this guy. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I must find out what. Guess I might as well lay this on there. Where the hell? You are stuck or unsure how to proceed. Don't forget to check the mine palace. Damn, Casey, calm down. <laughs> Dude started sprinting. Up, I want to see what's up here. I'll be back in a second. Oh shit. Whoa, damn. Fucking evil dead cabin. Bro, I love this shit. Is there anything in here? There super isn't anything in here. Oh, this is the witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Dude, I wonder if we can come back here later and there will be like an actual fucking spirit here. Scene should be this way. Spooky. Is this not the? Oh, this is a different place. Oh shit. Hey, I recognize this. Of garbage. Hey, I Not sure. The fastidious type. I, I recognize this shot <laughs> from one of the trailers. Playing fucking cards and shit in here.
Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing happens. What an awesome fake out. Well, not yet. Monday, saw some suspicious activity. The fielder thought he saw movements in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found. Some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. <laughs> Nothing to report some animals regular. Hunters out after dark, poachers? Heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on the, these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. Or the washing machine. Can I get something for the case? Yeah, I did. Footprints emerging from under rock. Trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Nightingale has something hidden inside of him. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Like inside inside? <laughs> okay. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Where the hell do I go? Oh. Every time I'm like, oh shit, I'm lost. Where do I go? It turns out it's like 20 feet away from me. What up, Casey? Yo, what up? I'm Casey. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. I'm like Crazy really enjoying puddle, how huh? slow like burn this is so far. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't come. come back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. So nice to have a game with Let's restraint. Yeah, it makes me excited though because I know that they're gonna do the crazy shit That's later. The diner, right? But they're like not revealing call. their whole Let's fucking hand sure right away. But, Sounds good. Not that I ever had any doubt in remedy, but you know, what a fucking breath of fresh air. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods, cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies <laughs> aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I, uh, I really like Saga so far, too. I was, I mean, like, one of my first questions when they, like, revealed that this game was going to be, like, taking place between playing as Alan Wake Can't and playing as, like, this new yet. character, I was a little, Heart like, removed. tripod. I was like, whoa, Tracks okay, that's kind of weird. A, dead end. a tripod for a camera to record a... Snuff them? Maybe. I'm digging it. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? 
to stuff in something for us to find. Was there Chug? Oh, that was probably the bit, right? That was probably not the game. I didn't see it when it was happening, so I couldn't tell you. But it was probably the bit, right? Just enjoying walking through these fucking rainy woods. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Me too. As am I. Yo, look at the thermos man, the coffee thermos guy. Did you swing by the lodge <laughs> to get anything from the field office? Holy no, shit. Also. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Dude, I'm so happy we're in the town. This cozy fucking place. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hey, what's up? Dude, he's a fiend for coffee. He is a fiend. Hey, how's it going? Everyone's drinking fucking coffee. Everyone here is a fiend for the bean. Can I talk to these guys? Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. Come That's get all. percolated. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Deerfest. Oh dear. Cute. Take care. What's up, bro? Hey, yo, back up, gang. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Balls. Oh, it's get percolated. Uh, Sydney Empire. Thank you for the thirty-eight months. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. <laughs> I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims? Bro, the diner. Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calvin Light was fast off. You have a guess. Missing person cases. The oh dear diner. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. Oh, Bye. shit! We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. 
she's a writer. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping oh. a dog is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted. Oh. They called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. A cult of the tree. Keep it down. Oh, and then we found <laughs> a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hmm. Booker's described- Shut the fuck up, I'm solving crime! Booker's described multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting with tearing guy into the guy with knives. So that's probably for who are the killers, right? Killer profile, there we go. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Not a lone serial killer. Who <laughs> were scared. <laughs> the cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Exciting? <laughs> my god, she is a freak. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. <laughs> She's great. I mean, I mean that in the best sense possible. She's great. Cult goal. Who's involved? What kind of cult? Cult psychology. Large amount of supplies laid out on the table. Doesn't make sense. Triangle figures made from twigs. Okay. Interesting. What's the other shit I have? Come on, Mind Palace. Oh, cult stashes. Right, I forgot I found this thing. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Better keep an eye out for more. Stash found near... There we go. Cauldron Lake Mobile Home. Edging my mind bells. Dude, the old guys aren't here. They were in this booth in the first game. Checking on everybody. Can I play the fucking jukebox? Out of order? Poor thing, uh, poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over and over. I'm as big of a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was fucking Adi outside. It's like, yo, janitor. Put the lime in the coconut. Rest easy, buddy. Petting every mounted deer that I come across.
Got the Bright Falls map. I need a tool to get this open. Man, this really is like Resident Evil. It won't open. Huh. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Random guy. What do I get for my freaking case board? Oh, the map. That's what it is. Manuscript pages. One of their own. Oh shit! FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words felt like a message was a message someone knew they were here what they were doing someone playing a game with them leading them on an invitation how could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible the sheer what to them. this guy said audacity they knew it would end up hurting them <laughs> what i forgot there's gonna be a control too what? Why? Huh? I don't remember fucking hearing about that. The Bookers! I can profile them. Cult of the Tree. The Cult of the Tree. What are the Bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The Cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's Keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. They announced they're working on Control 2? How did I miss that? That's like huge news. I completely never heard about that. The Bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions past the bolt cutters they broke in for the sake of tammy's book nothing to do with the murder they were telling the truth the framing with the antlers behind saga is cool yeah this game's got fucking framing bro for sure like man when you play something that you just like you know that everything in it is like handcrafted and made with confidence you don't have to, you don't have to be like, did they do that on purpose? Like, it's Remedy. You fucking know they did it on purpose, bro. This mug always cheers me up. Aww. I didn't see that there. There's, uh, there's like so much confidence in everything they do. It's delightful. What's up, guys? <laughs> Uh, what the fuck was the button? In interview the witnesses at the diner. Are there more than them? Logan's charm increases maximum health. Trauma pad. I thought it was just them. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Oh! So you mind. found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. <laughs> you need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> Like we'd even dream of missing Deerfeld. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought 
we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. <laughs> huh? You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Huh. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Hmm. Interesting. Cult of the tree. Cult necklace with a triangle symbol. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride? All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Let's go fucking take a look, bro. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. <laughs> have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. Appropriate reaction. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, <laughs> Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Bro, this game's got writing. Hey, what do you know about that witch? The bitrate is fucking dropping again from the diner. We're good. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. What is Dude, what the fuck is happening? What's going on? Would my shit be normal for five seconds? She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Hey. Giving you my energy by watching in 480p. So we Thank share you. a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Do you guys not have lights down here? It's fucking dark as hell. 
Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. On the heart? I can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Chat, <laughs> relax help. with the co with the cock penis. This looks like text. <laughs> a tattoo. It's a naked I body. Of course, he has a cock penis a out. Tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. You put up a fight. <laughs> uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Case board. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. To be fair, he had his cock penis out when he was alive, too. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. Cause of death. Think. Defensive wounds on victim, smudged text under victim's skin. Ritual writing. <clears throat> Legible words on heart. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Time to fucking stick my hand in there and find out. Going in with the tweezers, operation style. Ugh. Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Oh, it's the guy from Quantum Break! It's the same actor! What's his fucking name? I forget. I have them right here. No, 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 wait! What the fuck? Holy shit! Dude.
my gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. That's fucking creepy, dude. Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It'll become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Shit, that sound. Vanished. <sighs> yeah, dude. Do do we get a whole song in between the chapters, like an Alan Wake one? Fuck yeah! Setting the controller down.
part. And the lady in the diner who's a writer? The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Dude, this guy got fucked up. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Got a new fucking manuscript page. Cult of the Tree. Victim of cult killing became a monster, dude. Kind of cult. Text tattooed on the victim's manuscript page found inside. Writing has some significance here. Nightingale was the only victim to become a monster. Why? Why? Can you just pin shit wherever on this? No, you can't just pin shit wherever. I'm specifically, like, finding where it is supposed to go. So like I couldn't I couldn't put this one like anywhere but here. If you try to put it in the wrong spot, it just like doesn't let you. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to... create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Create monsters. Cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Yes. Of course. Yeah, see, like, if I try to put these just, like, here, it doesn't work. There we go. Killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Thanks, Casey. Need rip in peace, bro. Can't be opened on this side. Why are his cheekbones like that? He just looks like that. What the fuck does that mean? That's what Sam Lake looks like. <laughs> it won't open. He should be melted for scrap? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? You're talking about him like he's a fucking iron golem. Is there like something fucking left in here? <laughs> Melt? <laughs> confusion in the chat bro <laughs> Must be locked what, from the what are side. you talking about all 
Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Shit's all locked down. What the fuck am I missing? Help me out here, Casey. Just fucking standing around. I think there was a prompt on the body in front of the door. I didn't see anything. No, there's super not. I can't force it open. I'm literally like running around pressing the button. Everything's fucking locked. Got whatever that was. Battery pack. For my flash -a light. What the fuck? What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like stuck. I've fucking gone everywhere. It's not Mind Palace. There's, when you have new shit to use in the Mind Palace, there's like an icon in the bottom left. Like it'll, it'll tell you. Killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Oh, what the fuck? I have a radio now? Oh, shit! You can listen to all the chapter songs. That's nice. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. That is a fucking classic. That is a fucking classic. The old salt all over your body trick. Oh, whoa. That's weird. If you walk out that door, you fucking go back into the real world. Fuse box, maybe? I don't know. I'm I'm I've been walking up to fucking everything. Doesn't do shit. Can anybody who has been playing this game fucking help me out here? What the fuck am I missing? It's like driving me nuts at this point. I want to fucking progress. <laughs> what the hell's going on? It doesn't budge. It doesn't budge. There was new evidence for a different case on the board. I mean, it would it would say it. There would be something here. Oh, it's this. There we go. What the? F it didn't say it. There's right. supposed to be a fucking, a like, thing him. on there. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Creature of <sighs> darkness. Yeah, what the fuck? They, like, led me to believe that it would always tell me when I have new evidence, and it didn't. You bastards. Is there more? Cases. Clues. Zero. I don't know. Out of any any new clues on anything. So fucking now what? There we go. Jesus. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. 
That was annoying. Calls him a taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. So let's fucking go. We we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Fuck me. That's terrible. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Why is nobody acknowledging their co-worker's corpse? Oh dear, I am a tourist. <laughs> oh shit! It appears that I'm lost in the woods. You've only had a tour FMV. also bear season. Oh no, a bear. Oh no. Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, but the government, <laughs> we have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything and we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Bro, awesome. I'm so fucking glad. So goddamn glad those are back. Silly little FMVs. Going out of here, dog. That is the Biggest fucking CRT monitor Dude, I've ever smoke. seen in my life. That thing is huge! <laughs> Holy shit! The screen is massive! What's up? Dudes, rock. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Oh shit! I'm reading emails? You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Kill the Joe, make some mo. <laughs> not your personal assistant. Chet, I hate to break it to you. But you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. What the fuck? Your beard oil is ready for pickup. Front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. Remember to wash your coffee mugs. Coffee, coffee, coffee. The annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again. The community outreach, uh, the community outreach barbecue. Community voted drunk take, drink, drunk tank. Jesus Christ, what's going on? 
The community voted drunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton! Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? Friendly reminder that anyone out sick on this day will need to provide a written doctor's note. Yada yada yada. Hello. Take it easy. It's not opening. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. <laughs> I want out. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. Yeah, let's let him out. Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Rocky. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Hello. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Bro, look at this fucking town! I wanna live here. I don't care if there's crazy supernatural shit happening all the time. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I have to go to the fucking driver's side? Uh. Cauldron Lake. Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. What? He was chasing a writer. Oh. Alan Wake. <clears throat> Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Hmm. The heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. 
Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. <laughs> Me listening to the case. rapper logic. <laughs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, what's up, there. fellas? How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Oh, it's the guy in the video. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FPC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> Finish. A variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish Trying to show the sweater. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirakka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Thank you. I need to head out. <laughs> All right, I'm about to head out. Your signs of tampering signal was rerouted into a transmitter that's not one of ours. Fixed it so many. Fixed it so any alerts will come our way. It's definitely concerning. So the quote raccoons can't get to it anymore. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Chat's fucking pogging out for the control mention. FBC. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have ah! him, or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve.
All this talk of coffee made me run to the store so I could get some creamer making a fresh pot right now. I never minded rain. You're addicted. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did play some Ladies hell but good ass video today. I know nothing so about Dead Space, but it was there. still super Maybe cool. Hey, thanks, Looney Zoon. Thanks for the ten months. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. <laughs> I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with Welcome to my twisted alive, world. The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. We've seen this symbol before. Oh shit. Good eye. Is there anything else down here? Oh man, we're gonna have to go back to that fucking place where I thought the jump scare was gonna happen and didn't. You out here? And this time it's probably gonna happen. Where the fuck was that place? Uh, rental cabins. I think all the shit that we're gonna find is actually at the murder site, it looks like. Cases. Cult of the tree. Cult goal. Uh, cult symbols, I mean. Okay. Aha! Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? Yeah, stay here, Casey. It'll be fine. Footprints leading into the forest. Uh, not cause of death. Where did Nightingale go? Bro. God, I miss living in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it's really nice out there. I did really like that about the the area when I lived in Washington. Specifically, like, the drive out there when I, like, first moved there. Uh, just, like, the trip there from Michigan was so fucking beautiful. That shit was picturesque. Whoa. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? She's <laughs> Jesus Christ that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> ah! I can feel something. <laughs> you fuck. I know Over your 
pretty scary. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is like... Dude, the extra stuff. Witchfinder's station. Dude, I'm gonna get attacked by fucking spirits. It's fucking creepy, dude. Shit's scary. Waiting around in this fucking water. Which is ladle. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the effect. Shut the hell up! Tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her, her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. A woman who drowned? That's fucking Thomas Zane's wife, right? She like- she looked like exactly like that. In, uh, Alan Wake 1. What is the Dark that? Presence. Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It Whoa. was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. Barbara Jagger, there were objects yeah. That stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Yeah, I okay. Trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Yeah, let's go to the witch's hut. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds great. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Y'all see that? Baseboard. <laughs> what do we got? Nightingale's trail led to another page. Which is hut? Light is the key. Light is say. the key. But for something more to be revealed as well. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? I need to find the Witch's Hut. Pretty sure the Witch's Hut was... No, go to the map. The map! There we go. Right up that way. <laughs> Got some stuff fucking moving around. This is the witch's hut. It sure is. described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse locate a fuse in the immediate area Anderson thought I saw something in the woods probably just a deer but I'm gonna check it out okay I found another page 
following up on a lead. This fuse is busted. Fuck! Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks! I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a bigger school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to say in bright fucking falls? Sunday, so I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me! <laughs> she said thanks. <laughs> I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm gonna find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic! Fucking nothing in there. This one looks good. <gasps> a fuse! should really stop littering, though. That is a huge fuse. Is there like somewhere I'm supposed to put it in here? Get the lights working in the witch's hut. Maybe on the side of the hut? Coffee thermos. The break room. Dude, awesome. This is where you can save your progress. Delightful. What are those? Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart. A Danish? Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. She did what? The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Sounds good. Sounds like a normal thing to do. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Just leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't <laughs> have what I need to find Who Nightingale's said that? heart. There must be more. The heart, where is it? Nightingale's heart, where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Oh the no. Stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need to check the general store for the heart. Oh uh, no. Casey. I'm headed to the general Don't forget store. to save often. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it.
Here we are. Casey's such a fucking ball of cheese. He's fantastic. The years I spent with my ex-wife. Jesus! That was just a normal deer. Ah! <laughs> I knew it would happen. Oh! It's fucking my controller's doing like adaptive trigger shit. I didn't know that this game even supported that. Holy shit. Like Nightingale. Using a trauma pad will heal you. Ah, there we go, okay. He busted his shit open, damn. <laughs> The heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. Yeah, they showed off like this scene. Total sense. During the uh, Summer Game Fest shit. I remember now. Give me that. Oh! <gasps> Inventory. Oh, what the hell? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Lady Fortuna. No! One last big and now we go. It's gray and full of water. No! Any Fortuna? Don't forget, update the code. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so it's none of these? Interpreter of Dreams 202555-137. Uh. Um, erm, um, um. 705, 713, 717, 723. What the fuck, man? <laughs> huh? Y'all getting anything from this chat? up with the fucking phone number. I don't get it. I don't understand. Maybe it's just because I'm, like, tired. <laughs> you know, we only need three numbers for the fucking shotgun case, though. I got nothing. I am zooted. Alright, thanks. Thanks for being honest, at least. So they added eight, and then they added five. No, then they added eight and then four. And, uh... And then six? Seven, three, nine? How, what are you getting that from? 
I'm like, I'm, I'm curious what the hell this is supposed to mean, what I'm supposed to make out of this. The numbers go up in a sequence. I'm trying 739. <laughs> I hate numbers. I hate numbers. You're overthinking it? Oh, definitely. 100% that is what is happening. I, I have a terrible habit of doing that. God bless you. God bless you. Dude, I have a shotgun now. Quip. Quick slot. Damn, you got a lot of slots. Put this one at the top, I guess. This one at the bottom. No, you know, I should do it the other way. Sorry, I should put it like left and right. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch Taking a there. shit. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. It was okay. each section of okay. the lotto ticket with seven slapped in front. I need to oh, I understand now. Okay, yeah, I, I was not picking up on that at all. Oh, trust me, chat. Trust me. I have a tendency to overthink puzzles like this all the fucking time. Words on the heart are legible now. There we go. I didn't know there was a words on the heart one. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? Show me the terror. The heart is somewhere in the general store. I freaking found it, baby. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. MVP sober chat member. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to be the fucking... Designated chatter. It's gray and full of water. No! Uh, I gotta get back to the freaking murder site somehow. Man, the texture popping on the fucking map is uh kind of a pain in the ass. Casey? Oh right, I'm supposed to uh put it through that fucking sign. Place the heart in the witch's sign. Where the hell was the sign again? Uh... Oh, it's down there. I see it. I see it. The ladle. The ladle. Patrick, the lid. The lid. Patrick, the lid. 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 Down here. Yeah, I, I could have done with a less detailed map if it meant it would come up instantly when I pressed the button, rather than, like, taking that long to become legible. <laughs> That's a little much. Oh, 
Oh, dude, the fucking adaptive triggers with the shotgun feels so cool. Oh! We can dodge! Dude, we, she can dodge just like fucking Wake! Just like Alan, bro. Just like Alan. L1 to dodge, I gotta remember that. Sam at Blood Spurt looks sloppy swag FR. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rickerson, thank you. going on in there, I want to go in. See you later, Casey. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Just got the objective Casey, to defeat me? Nightingale. Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the, the fuck? fuck? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Where I came out of? No. Please help me. Dude, Alan. What was that? Wait. Dude, we're approaching Alan. Did I get turned around? We're getting there. No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. <laughs> A new manuscript page. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Show me the terror. Ooh, sound design. Oh, 
Dude, this is so cool. He's here, Nightingale. Dude, we're starting to see Alan's world. The dark place. Nightingale's badge. Cool, dude. Oh. Oh. Cool. Dude. Like hell he did! Oof. <laughs> Ow, holy shit! Gotta remember to use that dodge. Oh! Holy shit! I'm gonna fucking die. Gotta get away. Holy shit. Go. Ugh, I need to heal. Whew. Use the shit. Equip. Okay, so you need to have one equipped at all times. I see. I understand how this works now. So you... Okay, you could put it on the quick slot. Cool, 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 cool. I'll put it down here. Right, right, right. Okay, I understand now. I, I wasn't sure how the fucking items worked. <laughs> Sound of the rain just stopping. Ah, let me go. I prefer this gameplay setup so much more over Alan Wake One. Yeah, me too, for sure. 
I mean, Alan Wake 1 was, like, trying to be a different type of game, and this game is, like, way more going for survival horror. But I just happen to like this type of game way more. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! L1 is kind of a weird button to have dodge on. I'm like, I keep forgetting which button it is and hitting R1 instead. Gunplay, like, does feel really good, though. Especially with the fucking adaptive trigger shit. Jesus Christ, man. How much fucking health does this guy have? Oh my god! Oh, oh that hurt! I only got one bullet left! What the fuck do I do now? Oh, oh. Fucking see him! Oh my god, please be ammo in here. I need to get to that box. Die! Holy shit. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Girl, you got fucked up. Oh my god, it is! Okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! He cut out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Dude. 13. I'm a writer. <laughs> My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. He said it. Ah! <laughs> Made it from a 
Jesus that I'm coming out alive Raging hard Went too far Two chapters down, man. Yo, now Mimi. Thanks for the prime sub. This is awesome. To woke, we have these fucking shadow demons to worry about because of woke. Nothing but fucking bangers so far, dude. These are great tracks. So glad they kept the TV show structure for the sequel. Oh, yeah, there's no way they were ever going to get rid of that. It's like perfect. Should I should I press the button or I'm like afraid there's something I'll miss. <laughs> Anders, where did you go? All of a oh, sudden what up, the Casey? stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Dude is this who I think it is? Casey. Oh, bro, Alan seeing them both in frame, it's Mr. crazy. Wade, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Dude. It's so Alex fucking Casey. cool. How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the PI from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. <laughs> Dude, I had it's one crazy. bullet left <laughs> when I beat that guy. Get your bearings. <laughs> Holy Go shit. I just, I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. Ah. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. 
Okay, just I'll collect your fucking pages, Slender Man. Okay. Relax. Take your time. Collect my pages. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. Huh. God, the fucking lighting, dude. This game is beautiful. Jesus Christ. What happened to this fucking deer? Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Huh? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Dude. The flare. That shit up here? Propane tank? Sheesh! Yeah, that was weird how it just, like, it was just a little Simon Says thing, but it only made me do it once. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to do, like, a, at least a few of them in a row to get that open. The tree. Collect my pages. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga. Oh, we already watched this one. In the Saga finds a safe haven. Dude, wide awake. Television. You can rewatch all the fucking TV ads you see too. Awesome. This game fucking rules. Quick turn by quickly pressing backward twice. Oh, like sort of works. That's a weird way to do that. Pressing backwards twice. What the fuck? Do I have to worry about shadow wolves? Oh my god, I do! Jesus! Fuck out of here! Oh my god! That was horrifying! And I don't have any fucking... I could heal in the safe haven, I guess. Sheesh! Yeah, it only heals you to a certain extent. This is a fucking survival horror game. We're already running low on resources, man. Shooting 
dogs like a real cop. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, the save room. Take the car back to Bright Falls, investigate the previously flooded area. I don't remember which area was flooded, aside from down there. Which I... Is there something I missed down there, maybe? Maybe I should go back and check? Yeah, I think it was just this spot. It's fucking music. Oh, probably down here. Yup. There's fucking stuff down here. Hell yeah! Very nice. I like that they gave us Alan and then we're like, anyway, this ain't about him right now. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I like sincerely love how long it is taking for us to get to playing Alan Wake or to playing as Alan Wake. It's like it makes it that much more exciting when it like will actually happen. Fuck. Steam streamside stash key. Streamside stash. Oh hey bro. Slim just, just let me uh Oh, he's got like a weak spot on his on his back. How the fuck would I get to that? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Oh, is it this? Is this the stash? Totally is. The cult is watching right now. That's fucking creepy as fuck. Wow, this area is bigger than I fucking thought it was. Flooded area. There's a ton of shit down here. No fishing! Today's catch. A yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something, taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Dude, that fucking... Adi straight up left this note. He's out here fishing. Am I remembering correctly? Didn't Adi literally say he was gonna go vacation and fucking, like... Washington at the end of control. He was like, I'm just, I'm going to Bright Falls to like fucking relax. There's something written here. A poem? What the fuck? Or a riddle. 
Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Something like that. He fucked off into a cabin in a painting. I feel like I remember him saying he was, like, going to this area. Two for darkness, three birds for a fight. Four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. The fuck does that mean? A little clothes bindle. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. What the fuck? Crow doll. Figurine representing a crow. One bird for light. Something feels different. Whoa. I should look around. The crow left something for me. A charm. What Shoot. the fuck? It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Attacks stagger huh. enemies more often. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. It's a hammer charm. Huh. Interesting. Where the fuck am I right now? Witchfinder's station, private cabin. Private cabin? Hey, yo. This one's locked? The fuck? What the hell? I hear a doggy. Hello, doggy. Good doggy! What the fuck? Where'd he go? Good doggy. Stay still! What the fuck, dude? He like instantaneously dodges all of my shots. What's up with that? Oh! oh my god! I was reloading! What the fuck? This dog is gonna fucking annihilate me, dude! Fuck you! Can I just shoot these? These locks? No, I can't. Literally put a bullet right in it and it didn't work. Bro, I wasted a bunch of fucking shotgun ammo and health on that fuck- on this one dog? Jesus. Oh. It's a little birdhouse. Cute. Anything else out here? Funny doggy. Streamside, Witchfinder's Station. You should check out what the Witchfinder's Station is about. From Alaska to- I'm not reading all this shit. No way. <laughs> Ain't no way. <gasps> A 
page. I thought you were gonna shoot the birdhouse. There's no birds in it. I would just be destroying a fucking perfectly good birdhouse. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, the a dark horror lore. narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached <laughs> on our reality. Me thinking up my little the stories. Universe, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Hell yeah, bro. Whatever the fuck you just said to me. Hell yeah. Another one of those rhymes. Hey. <clears throat> the hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. Hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Seeing if this fucking does anything. Probably some other item we need. From inside the cabin. This is cool. There's like such a huge, just like completely optional area like this to check out. Oh, the moose. Computer. Oh, dude, it needs a password? Are you kidding? I feel bad for these guys. I love that you can do this with every single deer head you fucking come across. Pet the deer. You can pet the deer in Alan Wake 2. I didn't want to do that. Something to interact with. Oh, I hate that. I fucking don't like that. What does that say? The Beast Within. Julia L Levine. Fucking nothing out. Tip of the day, when nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. <laughs> That's a great piece of advice. Observations, hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix some of the damage, doused the area, maybe put up some instructional signs. I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Footprints that were smeared either way, or were they wandering around in strange patterns? Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. The sun as she the sun as she sleeps knows not the woes of men who toss and turn and worry and fret. Wish they had our her blissful slumber. Picked up a bunch of trash left by the tourists. Despite posted guidance, humans are the worst. Thought of the day, every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. A lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Um, okay. 
Let's go upstairs, shall we? Oh. This fucking cabin is scary as fuck. Wolf doll. Hero doll. Test sites in Cauldron Lake. Oh, this tells you where all of them are at. All these, like, camera circles. Cauldron Lake rental cabins. I guess we gotta go there. Dude, the playpen. Oh, this is about the FPC. The FPC's intent in, uh, in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. Oh, dude, they're doing experiments with fucking Cauldron Lake. I'm sorry, Chad, I'm not reading all this. That's for, that's for later me to do. Surely this will end well. <sighs> Didn't find anything with like a password on it. Manuscript pages, profiling, baseboard, cult stashes. May as well place these. Aldrin Lake. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, Jesus, I've got a ton of these fucking clues. Reality altering effects of the nursery rhymes. Doesn't make sense. Cauldron, yeah, that's what I want. Cauldron Lake. No? It's not? Oh, who are, who are these who made them? Got it. Strange dolls, hero doll, used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Wolf doll. Crow doll. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Found a strange rhyme on a sheet of paper with children's drawings. Uh, Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Dude, I'm a terrible fucking detective. Saga's pissed off at me. Charm appeared at the site of the rhyme. Hmm. Aldrin Lake. There we go. What else do I got? Is that it? I think that's it. Cool. Yeah, I did not find anything with like a computer passwordy looking thing on it. Zero, 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 zero. Wait, what? There's only. Hmm. Okay, so it's five digits. <laughs> I know that now. Doesn't really help, but whatever. 
Okay, I got the wolf and the hero doll. Can I, like, do something with those here? What does this say again? Hero brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. Left home, so I put the hero here, I assume. Wolf so greedy and hungry, he ate what he found in the house without a host. Uh... Oh. No. Why did she- Dude, she sounded disgusted. That's not right. <laughs> nah. Nah. Hey, there we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh, dude. What the hell? Oh, no. What the fuck is up here? Ugh. Another charm for my bracelet. Oh, another one. Everything is fine, actually. Coffee mug charm saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll put that on there. Man, I was really thinking there was going to be a big scary wolf monster. This seems fine. Alright. So we fucking checked this place out. Um... Private cabin... The rental cabins, that's where I want to go. Investigate the previously flooded area. Did I not investigate everything already? Anderson, how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. Oh. I'll meet you at the parking lot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, what? Is there seriously still more? Where the fuck am I going? Streamside, private cabin should go this way. Huh? Huh? Du -du 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 -du. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Rip to that computer? I don't- I have no idea what it could be. I didn't see anything relating to, like, numbers inside the house, so... Who fucking knows, man? Who fucking knows? Not I. It's that one. Yeah, wow, this area was huge, and this was like a completely fucking optional thing. Fucking huge. Maybe it'll be at the cabin? May- I- maybe. I- I don't even know if I want to come all the fucking way back here. If it ends up being at the cabin. It's a long fucking walk. Maybe later. <laughs> Jeez, the murder site, the rental cabins, BC station, the car. Okay, we're gonna have to go buy the rental cabins to get to the car anyway, so. Should we go through here? Not Holy shit! <laughs> Bro's got a wrench. 
Yeah, I, I like the combat and just like the way that enemies appear way more in this game. They're way more sparse. The combat actually feels really nice. What the fuck's going on up here? Yo, guys? The machine is not happy. A lunchbox again. <gasps> Another lunchbox! Who's Let's go. These out here? We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Almost got enough manuscript fragments to get uh, an upgrade. <laughs> I like it that way, though. I like that upgrades are like harder to get, but they are way more substantial, rather than, like, incremental shit. I much prefer it this way. Wasn't there a thing in there? Yeah, it was a note, but we already read it earlier, so... It's nothing new. Alright, let's go to the rental cabin before we fucking leave. See if there's anything new there. What up, Casey? Be back. Get schmoovin' soon. Aldrin Lake rental cabins. They threw here? The map that takes five seconds to appear. Jesus. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's locked. I need something to cut this. Shit. Oh, I don't think we can get in here until later. Bro, a bunch of news articles. Does a hike a day keep depression away? Yes. The answer is yes. Is this where we, like, started? I don't remember this area. Oh, it is! Yeah, I remember, because we came down here and she was like, you'll have to jump down, and he was like, I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've been here before. Yeah, we can't get into the rental cabins until I have something to cut that with then. Which we'll probably get if we come back here later. Which I'm sure we will. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I could probably play for another hour, and then I have to get ready for movie night, which uh, I won't be able to stream tomorrow, so it pains me to ready say to I go. will have to stop playing for at least a day. But that'll be- Jesus Christ, Alan looks like a corpse in the back seat. <laughs> but we're also watching Evil Dead tonight, so I'm very excited. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly.
Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. What the fuck? Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> Lol. I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> He's wearing the American Nightmare shirt. you'd like us to reach out to mr wake you've been gone a long time no no if they'd be in danger it'll come for me okay let's talk about something else <laughs> normal thing to say robert nightingale do you know him you were both here in 2010 the dark presence got him back then that's the last time i saw him 13 years Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still Dude, be made out underneath. Look. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. He's going through it. Well. God, man, the maelstrom. <laughs> oh, wow, this is how we're doing this? Night. Initiation oh, one. Is I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. Yeah, it man! Control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Bro, he said fuck! Had I already done the show? Alan Wake said fuck! Was that a recording? 
Whoa! Whoa! Live action! Alon's back, baby. Scruffy, thank you. This is like the fucking Air Condre show. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. Holy so fuck, he's real. You, Thank you, Hibbo. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. Dude, the band. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not it's a so lake, quiet. It's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our way's <laughs> over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay <laughs> you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Well played, man. That is spot on. <laughs> Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, <laughs> Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix I mean, the writer is Dude, the Matrix reference? Writer. Okay. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Yeah. Thank you for Dude, his face. My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. Can't be expecting to disappear once this scene ends. Dude, cool. Hello. That was fucking sweet. Are there, like, audio options for, like, FMVs? Dialogue volume? Turn it up. Dude, they knew I was gonna turn this up. This is the only one that they allowed to be, like... <laughs> to be a different volume than the rest of them. In fact... In fact... That's what we're doing. No, that's master volume. I need to do that. In fact... Base reduction? Why the fuck would I want that? Dialogue vibration intensity? 
Adjust the intensity of the controller vibration feedback during dialogue. That's interesting. Applies equalizer filters. Decrease high-pitched sounds. Bird calls, tire screeches, machinery noises. Huh. Interest. I've never seen some, an option like this in a video game. It's really cool. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn down the sound effects and I'm just gonna turn up the rest of the fucking game. In the, like, volume mixer. Because some of this shit is just too quiet. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. That's what I I'm fucking to talking about. To Alice. Dude, old gods of Asgard! We were just on the set. It's so crazy, dude. We're in the fucking dark place now. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Fucking nothing back here. In between with Mr. Door. Mr. Door. Dude, the band room for Old Gods? Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six, six, five, neighbor of the beast. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Yo! It's this guy! My interpretation of many worlds. I remember that fucking chuckle fuck. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Shit's locked. Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Holy shit, it was 665? Great. That fucking rules. That's so cool. What a cute way to have the code on display. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. I'm so fucking glad to have him back, bro. Alan Wake. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Time to go. Oh shit, dude. Nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. The fuck, dude? Is this my mind palace? A plot board for mapping out a story. It totally is! On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. 
I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York. None of it had felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. Writer's room was my safe haven. Must write to escape. Okay. Then write I shall. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. Dude, cool! This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Dude, what? In the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. The best selling writer of the books the films are based on. Let's do this! <laughs> the face, dude. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Sam? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun. But this is about Rockstar life. owning Max, isn't it? I no, they, they don't own him anymore. Oh. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Dude, awesome. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. <laughs> the Wait, face, dude. Stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> this is awesome. I'm loving this shit, dude.
six six five. Huh? Oh. Is it a different number this time? Six five six five five six five. This shit fucking rules. office yo he's just here <laughs> Lord Aid. there you are tom oh not so much evil that not a bit of good as well not one without the other <laughs> good to see you hey I, I can't seem to find my way out of here can you point me to the end of <laughs> this rules <laughs> the hell of it is of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Oh, thanks, man. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place, too? You remember Ahti? The janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. Dude, I had awesome. to trust the basement would get me out of here. <laughs> Adi. Toilets. <gasps> Anything in here? Nothing. A lot of nothing. Alright, see you later, bro. The map! Oh, you return to the writer's room. That's what it's called when you're Alan. The writer's room. Uh, he said I need to go to the basement? To basement. That's right. <laughs> I should have just kept walking.
They put another map here in case you missed the first one. The fuck? No charges? What the fuck? Now what the hell's that mean? An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Oh yeah, dude, look at this thing. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into Whoa, my lamp, yeah. the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Holy shit. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh, that's such a cool fucking mechanic. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out. Whoa! Shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Fucking cool. <laughs> he needs the sloppiest of toppy for this. I mean, hey man, like every single fucking review of this game on Earth is like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 9. They're doing fucking well right now. They are getting their much deserved sloppy toppy. I did not need to do that so dramatically. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake? That's not like. Bro. Oh shit, there was a song! Oh no! Oh! Duh! We're going back and listening to that right now. Tell me I can listen to the fucking music. Radio. I'm sorry, chat. Say it. 
I can see you there But you don't see me anywhere I'm right in front of you I'm right here On this one-ending world mm. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap On this one-ending world Is that it? I guess. <laughs> that was interesting. Alright. Let's get fucking schmoovin'. Mmm, coffee. Can't believe it took me this long to say that on this stream. Mmm, coffee. <gasps> Dude. Yes! The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. We've been working. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Ugh. Rude to telephone. No, no, there's no way that was Barry. Casey. Dude, look at this. The man had said fucking Street station. I had to go there. City, bro. I I can't believe it, dude. Will this guy kill me? Oh, he's just gone. I was gonna say, because I don't have any defenses of any kind. Dude, fucking... Beautiful video game. What's that over there? See a TV? goes hard in the paint. I'm just gonna say it now. Oh, 
Fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. Can I get over here? The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. Oh. I had to make it appear. Maybe Scared I could you, use bro. the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. My shit don't work? Cold Casey. <laughs> Dude. Based on the novels by Alan Wake. I couldn't force it open. Dude, there's so much area of the city that I'm sure we're gonna be able to go to later. This place is fucking huge. It's huge! So I just like straight up can't use my light? I need to find a light for it, that's what he said. A light for my light. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Mmm, wah wah. Get your ankles wet. Get those socks wet. Guess the bulb burned out right. Something like that. Whoa, whoa! So I gotta find one. Drink the stagnant water. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Oh! Oh! That's cute. Bro, the graffiti, you lost her. AWE! Don't worry about me, bro. Cult of the word. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Dude! Oh, hey. We met at Door Show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the Whoa. next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. He got taken by the fucking darkness. I just know it. <laughs> Ethan voice, I need your gun. You gotta give me your gun, man. Casey! Damn it. I remember dying in this alley in a 
dream I had. Bro, he's dead! Keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. Oh, he's not dead. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Whoa. Let's go, bro. This was an echo of the books I had written for I'm years. I'm fucking armed. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. He's I gone. To get back to the subway station entrance. Scratch. Oh my god, dude, this graffiti is so cool. It looks so fucking real. <laughs> Wait, what? How the fuck? Now the store is open. There's nothing? What the fuck is this pointing to? For nothing? There's nothing in there. <laughs> Cold Casey. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Get out of here. It's interesting, they just kind of fuck off. What the fuck, dude? I feel vaguely threatened by these things, but they keep just disappearing. Oh, fuck! Whoa, holy shit! Never mind! The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Wow. All right, I've got my I fucking light, the light now. to open the subway entrance now. I guess you just like don't want to like alert them. That guy just came after me. Whoa, he's just like a dude now. He's a flesh man. Uh, quick slot over here. Check this one. Charges? What? Wait, what? But I got the light. Use the light to get inside Caldera Saint Station. Yeah. Do I have to replace my battery? The fuck? 
You put the light back. You put it down. What? You needed to keep the light from the alley? What the fuck? That's how that works? That is so bizarre. You can't just, like, recall it or something? <laughs> Gotta fucking run all the way back here. There we go. Okay. I understand. Hey, fuck off! Now I can fucking open this shit up, finally. Caldera Street Station. Alright, what's this one over here then? Dude, Night Springs! God, this city is fucking amazing. I love this game! Ah! <laughs> Screaming! Find Alice. We gotta stop pretty soon. Alan, wake. Movie's coming up. Ooh, there's a lot of... A lot of fellas up here. All my fellas. Don't attack me now, gentlemen. All my fellas. Game of the year is going to be so hard to pick this year. It, dude, it has been a good, with a capital G, great, actually, year for video games. Like, holy shit. Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Dude, them fucking calling your name and shit. Oh, it's a safe room. <gasps> the shoe box. You can store your items here. Neato. Oh yeah, baby. Weak. There was something hidden here. Light would reveal it. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Words of power? Holy shit. What the fuck? Words of lamp? Stores 5% of max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. 25% chance to gain a flashlight charge killing an enemy. Ooh, that does seem pretty nice. Okay, interesting. So that's how you fucking upgrade Alan, huh? 
words of gun. <laughs> I'm about to share some words of gun with you. Huh, so that's what those are. We saw one of these earlier. I wonder if I should have focused on it a bit more. Oh my god, do I just have to... Ugh. Words of stuff? Is that what one of them said? <laughs> last year it was just God of War and Elden Ring. I don't know. There were a lot of great games last year. But, you know, this one has somehow even more thoroughly impressed me. Immortality came out last year. Think about that. Dude, the silhouette. I meant like vying for game of the year awards. Oh, well, who, I mean, whatever. That shit doesn't fucking mean anything. It's just a silly show that we watch. Whoa! Fuck me. Jesus! Ah! Oh my god, they killed me! Oh! Wow, that is horrifying. Once again, I forgot which fucking button was dodged, so I couldn't fucking do it in time, because it's such a weird button. Damn, I gotta look at this picture until it fucking loads. You know what? I should probably stop here. <laughs> I really don't want to, but I really should. Oh, because I just looked over at the clock and I'm like, ooh, I can't really play for much longer. <laughs> uh, we'll stop here. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. What a fucking banger. What a fucking... Banger. Yeah, there's art. I know. Oh, I know. I didn't forget. I just, we got to stop. That's part of why we got to stop, because I got to do that. And then we got to fucking end this shit. Uh, I'm going to put on Hip Shop. All right, check it out, chat room. We got some art here. Number one. We got this image that uh, Phoenix made after <laughs> the last stream. <laughs> My favorite Tolkien story. 9-11. <laughs> While I was trying to fucking remember the name of the second one. The twin... What's it called? The twin towers? The two... The two towers. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, this is from Dino Bit. Here's week two's art of the Coup October movie parody posters. The Evil Dead remake. And that's me, getting grabbed by all the thorns and vines and branches and stuff. Like on the poster. Very cute. I love these. These, like, movie posters. They're great. Thank you, Dino Bit. Uh, this is from Dr. Bodacious. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. He's so wet. Alan's sleep. <laughs> oh god, it looks like how you feel like when you 
take a nap on like a leather couch and it's like a hot day and you were wearing jeans <laughs> he is soaked so wet thank you Dr. Bodacious uh, this is also from Dr. Bodacious my awesome mind palace hold on let me make, let me make this bigger Going to my cozy cabin mind palace. What's this picture from? Like a point and click game? <laughs> a fucking find the hidden object game? My cozy hidden mind palace? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for drawing me in an FBI jacket. <laughs> uh, oh man. These are also from Dr. Bodacious. Some flashing images shouldn't be too tough. Uh, too rough though. Had to make this when I thought about it. my fucking mind palace. <laughs> this last one. I could do this all night if I have to. Me when I remember it all. <laughs> Alan Wake's hair and beard on Miss Piggy. <laughs> awesome, thank you. And that's art. Art's over. Stream's over. Uh, I'm gonna get some food and get ready for a movie night, okay? We're watching Evil Dead Rise in 43 minutes. It's at movienight.rocks. You can put that into your little URL bar. It'll take you right there. Uh, please come watch this movie. It's so good. I fucking love Evil Dead Rise. It is even better than Evil Dead Remake. And you guys ate that shit up. Um, it's gonna be fun. And I also have to decide what we're going to do next week, because I haven't yet. I forgot to decide. <laughs> Raid phrase, Alan, wake up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me see who's streaming, first of all. Uh, we are going to raid... Markatoto! I'm Alan Wake. <laughs> That's the raid message. Um, Chad, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will see you hopefully on Sunday night is when I will be playing more of this. Either that or Monday. Whichever I am able to do. Uh, but, ooh, I can't wait to get back to this game. See ya!